In this video, I will show you how to connect to your IP cameras with Ocean Fault Recorder. Uh, because there are many different types of IP camera out there in the market, it's impossible for us to be able to support all the cameras because they all have different connection settings. Therefore, for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll be connecting to our rear-facing camera or above the waterline camera as well as the Blue Rough 2 camera. First, let's launch Ocean Vault Recorder. Next thing you want to go is in Video In. This is where you're going to basically decide which device you want to uh, use with Ocean Vault Recorder. Now, for all our camera models, if you click on the Options button, for instance, if you want to connect to the above the waterline camera, choose Cam 88. 88 represents the last digit of the IP address. For this camera, the settings automatically put it as a non-VIF connection with the address 192.168.2.88 with a connection port of 2010 and a frame rate of 25. Now click on select, go to controls, and click on preview. For this camera, there is a zoom. If you wish to zoom in and zoom out for the first time, you will need to leave the camera, do the full span. You need to do that every time that it requires to be powered on and off. Once completed, then if you wish to zoom in, you simply need to click on the zoom in button and stop when you're happy with the level of zoom you've reached. Every time you click on the stop button, it will automatically focus. Therefore, if you want to zoom out and focus just a touch, the focus will happen after the camera has finished traveling. Now let's close this preview and go back into the video in. Here we can select the Blue Rough 2 camera. Click on Select, go to Control, click on Preview. And this is the Blue Rough 2 camera as connected inside the housing. Right now I'm just using the Tilt Up and Tilt Down button. Let's stop the preview and connect to the rear facing camera. Connect to the rear camera, click on the Options menu, click on the Cam 89 rear camera, click on Select, go back to Control, click on Preview. We're now going to go back and select the Blue Rough 2 camera again. This time, we're going to go into the picture-in-picture picture setting. Select the rear camera, click on Select, click on Control, click on Preview. Now, if we click onto the uh, PIP Enable button, the rear camera is going to show up. What you want to do is you want to go to the display setting and basically choose a ratio that's appropriate for the PIP. For instance, I want a ratio of 5 to 1. You can also decide to change the position if you want. This position corresponds to the pixel of the camera. So if it's an HD picture, you will have 1920 by 1080. So let's just go ahead and put 1000 here, which is a bit too much to have it on the bottom. This really is the user's choice where do you want to put your PIP. The PIP can be a camera, it can also be anything else that can connect to the Ocean Vault recorder. For instance, screen recording 
or a capture card that you already have in your computer. When the PIP is enabled, you will be able to record both the camera and the PIP at the same time on one video file. Let's stop the preview. Go back in video in. And let's have a look a little bit more at the arguments that we have. The first box is the IP address or URL. The reason why we put IP address or URL because you might want to do a manual connection. If manual is checked, it will ignore basically all the other parameters. If you select the rear camera, for instance, when manual is not checked, it will use all the other things in order to make the URL. The resulting URL will be displayed into the bottom left section of the status bar. Now, the IP address, this is the IP address of the camera. Then what we have over here is the arguments that might be required for connecting to a specific camera. You have to contact your camera vendor in order to have these parameters. In this case, for our camera, the parameter that we're looking for is forward slash AV0 underscore zero. The subsequent parameters are Ocean Vault specific parameters and they are used to minimize the lag between the camera and the image or basically the what we call the latency. So if you find that there's too much delay between the action and when you actually see the footage, put these arguments at the end of your URL and this will drastically reduce the latency. The next box is the port. For this camera, no ports need to be specified. The next box is for the frame rate. This basically is the frame rate for which you will want to be recording too. Then you have a series of checkboxes. Usually you will want to connect to the RTSP which is the real-time streaming protocol. But in the event that you're connecting to a camera that has a zoom control, you want to connect to the ONVIF. The ONVIF will allow the focus and zoom operation from Ocean Vault Recorder. You may also want to connect to a UDP port depending on what the camera settings are. We do not recommend using the UDP port as this creates a greater latency. Then if your camera has this requirement, you can specify the admin and password, username and password in these boxes. Note that you can have all these items into the URL box provided that you check the manual setting. For instance, I'm just going to copy and paste this line. This will achieve the same thing as if the arguments were distributed throughout the boxes. This might be the easiest way to connect to a camera that has specific parameters. Be careful about the admin and password For our cameras, the password and the username and password are admin and admin. Click on select, go to control, click on preview, and you see where it's trying to connect. And with a successful connection, you will have camera, camera preview started. This concludes the video on how to connect an IP camera to Ocean Vault Recorder. Thank you for watching. 
in purchasing your product.